This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. Stars off the tip. Feeds the Mitchell. Now the dish to Jackson. Oh, that's what. Pushing it up. Number seven. Oh. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. Plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. I he? tell you what, the great dunk, and then this is even a better game we got going on right now. And so it's the elites getting on the board first. Jackson dishes to Carmelo. The pass to ball. Lets it go with a three. And the rebound goes to the elites. Uh -oh. To Collins. Here's the mayor. Here's the screen. Shot clock at six. Number one. And he's good on the three ball. You cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. A slow start for the Stars in this one. It's a five point game. Jackson kicks to Mitchell. Shoots a fader, and good on the basket. Book it. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Tatum, guarded by Jackson. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And it's Mitchell missing. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it down. Deflects the pass. Takes the three. Shot is off. And it's the stars the other way. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Passes it to the ball. Takes a three. Cannot hit. The Stars on defense. They trail by three. Number one. No good from outside. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. He kicks it to Mitchell. Number 24. The Stars again missing. The Elites leading by three. Number seven. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. Goran Dragic has checked in for the Elites. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. <laughs> Number one. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got three rebounds now in this one. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, 
His teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. And for the Stars, Jackson is out there with Chris Paul. Then there's Kufus. Then it's Anthony. And it's Ball in at the two. And the basket good. Six points for Dwight Howard. The Stars trail by 15. The ball. Here's on an open. And the basketball. Fires the three. That's good. He has six. Now the elites with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. at five. Tatum. They get the rebound. Here's the mayor. Hits the jumper. And the elites lead by 14. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Ananobi. Touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. The elites leading by 12. Number one. And a miss there on the triple. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Fox passes to Jackson. It's rebounded by the mayor. The mayor's got three rebounds now in this one. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Comes up empty down low. Pass to Duan and open. Well, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. At least as I look at it. Here's the mayor. Number one. Rebounded by the Stars. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass the ball. Here's on an open. The feed to Jackson. Now the pass to on an open. Here's ball. It's blocked. Tatum. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. First free throw is good. The Stars making a switch here. First free throw is good. And so that's the end of the first half. Elites lead by 11. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. back we begin our second half so far not a tightly contested game guys but you know anything can happen complete domination what a game for Jackson he's got 14 points and he's hit four from beyond the arc a weapon with those three-point shots you said it his long-range jumpers are having a deadly effect the elites leading by 11 Set the pick. This is it to the main. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. How about 
about the concentration. He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Innovation One and shot. improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. On the free throw, no good. The Stars trail by 13 on the court for the Star. He dishes it to Jackson. Number 24. He's guarded by Collins, and the shot clock expires. 24. Second violation. The elites leading by 13. Number seven. No oh, good on the triple. On one of four from distance. Mitchell dishes to Jackson. He feeds it to Mitchell. Number 24 gets it to go from beyond the arc. Eight points for him. Gone a perfect two and two from the arc. Pass to the main. Here's the three. The Stars with the rebound. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. This is to Mitchell. The pass, the ball. Six on the shot clock. Oh, good with the triple. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratches. I mean, come on, he's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. Tatum sinks the three-pointer. He's got six. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. The Stars trail by 13. Passes the ball. On the way, Jackson. Right side, Jackson. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. The Stars have shot 75% at the stripe. Six of eight. Goran Dragic has checked in for the main. Jackson kicks to Mitchell. Back to Jackson. Pass the ball. Feeds it to Jackson. The dish to Mitchell. Back to Jackson. Just five to shoot. The wing jumper off target. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Here's the mayor, guarded by Jackson. The shot's good from the mayor. The mayor's got six. 130 left in the third quarter. Fox kicks to Mitchell. Number 24. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. The elites take possession. The Stars making a switch here. The elites leading by five. They set the pick. He kicks it to Collins. Number one. From outside, off the mark. Now the Stars with it. The drive by Jackson. Fox. Off target. 
target at the rim. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the third. <laughs> Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throws. The elites have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Two shots. That's good from the mayor. The Stars making a switch here. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. There's 25 seconds left here in the third quarter to the inside and that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Four on the shot clock. That's good. Ten points in the game so far. Love the play there on the inbound. The defense lost contact with him and he knocks down the trip. Ball the pass to Fox. Here's the pass to Ball. Fires from 18. And we've watched three so far in this one. Leads ahead. They're up by seven. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Just moments away now as we welcome you back. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the elites. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. And the Stars have possession. Seven-point differential. Fox passes the ball. The Stars need to get off a shot. That's good. Fourth quarter on the court for the Stars. Passes it to the main. Hit his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. John Jackson. Number seven. Here's the mayor. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Good on the second free throw. The Stars trail by six. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to Jackson. Number 24. They grab their own miss. Outside for Jackson. He passes the ball. Back to Jackson. Number 24, hangs on the trifecta. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. The elites leading by three. Come get it, come get it. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Pocket six. Fires from 18. And that one swishes right in. And the elites lead by five. So it's the Stars now. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now the feed to Jackson. 
Pass the ball. Outside for Jackson. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. The Stars trail by five. The pass the ball. He dishes it to Carmelo. He feeds it to Mitchell. Passes it to Ball. Kicks to Jackson. Dishes it to Carmelo. Good on the 13-footer. The elites leading by three. There's a screen. Feeds it to Collins. No luck. And it's the Stars the other way. It's Jackson with the drive. Out of bounds. The elites take possession. You know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. And the elites making a change here. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. A three-pointer off the mark. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. And so it's the Stars now. They trail by three. And there's the rejection. And it's blocked. It is now to Collins. He passes to the main. Six to shoot. The elites again can't hit it. He's been trying to add that mid-range to his arsenal, but it, it still isn't there just yet. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Number seven. It's the three-point bomb. Good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. The Stars trail by six. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Hangs in the air, and he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throws. That's on Dwight Howard. And the first one at the line is good. He's off on the second. The elites leading by five. Pass to the main. Backs him down. Turn around, Jay. Shot no good. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. It's off the screen, and the mayor gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Stars was trying to get across in their huddle. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively, saying, listen, let's make a simple play. Take care of the basketball. We can't afford to waste any possession. Guys, can they clean it up? The Stars trail by five. Here's Mitchell on the wing, Jackson. He kicks it to Mitchell. Number 24. Three-pointers off the mark. Gotten just four of his ten shots to fall here, shooting 40%. Inside, the mayor. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. And that's ten points for the mayor. Good look. He'll make that one most of the time. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to ball. 
Number 24, and he gets it to go. And the elites making a change here. Hasn't been quite able to lure the defense into fouling as much. Hasn't been as effective in drawing fouls here. The elites leading by four. There's 138 left in the game. Pass to the main. Back and down. Another shot. Nice yet again. Collins, good. The Elite played by six. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put down. Pass to Jackson. Ball, the pass to Mitchell. From past the arc. Kept alive by the Stars. Back to Jackson. The feed now to Carmelo. He dishes it to Jackson. Second chance shot. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. Let's look at some numbers for Jackson. Eight rebounds, and there's a nice number in the assist column as well. He, it really has been, Clark. He's created a lot of open looks for his teammates. Very unselfish play from him today. He's able to hit the second one, and that brings them within five. Yeah, he cuts the deficit a little bit, but not as much as he could have. One miss can make a big difference. Oh! And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that trip. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. Here's Collins, and he commits the intentional foul. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Jackson drives in. 24. Hits the three. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just look those last seconds away. No, he got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. To do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those three. The long three missed. So the elites win it. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Person. We're looking for someone with the 11th pick who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. I'd just like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft?
it'd be a real honor to go lotto. Know what I mean? As a player, you work your entire life for this day. You dream of putting on that hat, walking up to the podium and shaking Mr. Silver's hand. To be recognized as one of the first players drafted, that's a reward I definitely want for all the work I've put towards this. Next question. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Extremely important, because I know I'm one of the best players in the draft, if not the best player in the draft. To go outside the lottery? Man, that'd just be an insult. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. Hello, and nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the New York Knicks. We have the eighth pick of the draft and are looking for someone to be the face of our franchise. We'd like to ask you a couple questions and get a feel of how well you'd fit in with us. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Easy answer. My parents have spent their entire life putting me into the position I'm in right now. I want nothing more than to take care of them and make sure that the rest of their lives are as carefree as possible. I don't need glitz and glamour. I just need my loved ones cared for. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Me? I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, well, tch, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. All of those accolades. I want people to talk about me 50 years from now. And they will. Just watch, man. I've got the fire. I've got the drive. And you know what? I'm ready. Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Denver Nuggets. We have the 13th pick in the draft and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Yes, but with a caveat. If the direction of the team keeps changing towards becoming a contending team, I'll be happy being a part of the rebuilding process. If I start to feel like decisions are being made because of money instead of talent, chances are I'm going to start becoming real unhappy. Okay, last question. This question is more about how you feel about what we're doing here in Denver. We have a lot of young talent and have depth at every position. We feel we're one special player away from becoming a team that can go deep into the playoffs. We think you might be that player. Convince us of that. Man, I mean, just looking at your roster, I know it won't take long until I'm the leader of the team. You have some great players, but I want to be a full-fledged star, and it's going to happen fast, man. With the core you've got in place alongside myself, you'll be in line for success in no time. Thanks for your time. This gives us something to take back to the team. We'll see you on draft night.
Good evening and welcome to the NBA Draft. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world, a reward for their many years of dedication and hard work. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams. For those of you watching on television in more than 200 countries and territories, or following along on NBA.com, and of course to all of our wonderful fans here tonight, thank you for joining us. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. So let's get started. With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 19-year-old point guard from the University of Washington. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select the 19-year-old point guard from UCLA. With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select the 19-year-old small forward from Duke University. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select the 20-year-old small forward from the University of Kansas. With the fifth pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select the 19-year-old point guard from the University of Kentucky. With the sixth pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select the 19-year-old small forward from Florida State University. With the seventh pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select the 20-year-old power forward from the University of Arizona. With the eighth pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select the point guard from France. With the ninth pick in the NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select the 19-year-old point guard from North Carolina State University. With the 10th pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select the 19-year-old center from Iowa State University. With the 11th pick in the NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select the 19-year-old shooting guard from the University of Kentucky. With the 12th pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select the 21-year-old shooting guard from Duke University. With the 13th pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select the 20-year-old power forward from the University of Maine. 